Right, question two. And what you will notice is that question number two is a star question. Now that tells us something really important, that we have to give full and uh, clear working in order to get that mark. We have to get full and clear working in order to... Uh, I'm um, not my writing here, but you have to explain what you're doing. So, it's only three marks, and we should be relatively confident. So, 225 grams of flour needed to make nine cakes. So, uh, if we just do the calculation, 225, and we divide it by nine, then um, we'll find that we get 25 grams per cake. Now, that's an important piece of information. We need that. Okay. It says, Marion wants to make 20 of these cakes. She has 475 grams of flour. Does she have enough to make 20? Well, there's two things you could do here. One thing you could do, she wants to make 20 cakes. So 20 cakes times by 25 grams uh, actually comes out as uh, 500 grams of flour. Okay, so uh, she's only got 475 grams. She does not have enough. Okay, so that's one thing you could you could do it that way, or you could say you could do it the other way. The alternative method is you could do 475 grams. Uh, divided by, you know that's 25 grams per cake, equals 19 cakes. So she's got enough flour to make 19 cakes. Uh, and then you would have to make a statement that says she only has enough flour for 19 cakes. Now you have to write the sentences and you have to answer the question which is this bit here. So that's kind of a really important point. Always, people often do correct calculations, you've actually got to answer the question they've asked. But either one of these options would be acceptable, uh, quite straightforward. Some people lost marks because they didn't include, uh, they didn't ex include like, their units and they didn't include what they were talking about and they certainly didn't make the sentence. Okay, And just saying no is not good enough, you have to have the calculation and the explanation to show it. Right.